This is what it's like to date an Aquarius male. It's kind of like driving uh, over state lines to like buy a bunch of fireworks, but they're like on the discount rack, so they're old fireworks, and then you take them home and light them, and you kind of light them and you don't really know what's gonna happen. Like either they're just gonna do nothing, or they're gonna explode, and it's gonna be chaos. I think that's probably a pretty bad metaphor, actually. Aquarian men are know-it-alls, I do know that, but I think the biggest takeaway, and I've done Aquarius videos before, Aquarians are just so hard to put in a box. Personalities of an Aquarius male, I think, you know, these can come in all shapes and sizes, right? I think the biggest thing to remember is that you need to be secure enough to be with someone that's probably going to be fairly independent. They're going to have intense personal interests and hobbies and they're gonna get involved in rabbit holes and they're gonna like forget to text you sometimes because they just get tunnel vision and things. And like, they're a little bit scatterbrained in some way, like they're highly intelligent, but scatterbrained, not, not in the same way that a Pisces is, but uh, similar. I would say that it's important to set your boundaries and expectations up front, right? Because an Aquarian male can be extremely loyal. Aquarius is a fixed sign, but it's almost like a loyalty that's a little bit detached. And you need to communicate your expectations about whether that loyalty means like, it's just gonna be you two and it's, you want it like a ride or die situation. Or, you know, maybe you just kind of want to be friends with benefits, but like be very loyal friends with benefits. And like, even if you guys go off and do your own thing, like you're always ultimately going to come back to each other. You never know with Aquarius. People do sometimes misunderstand that independence for uh, detachment. And there is a certain aloofness and detachment, but it is there is, can be loyalty, right? It can be a very loyal sign. I want to stress that. The men especially can be very intense over thinkers and they can be a lot more self-critical than I think um, Aquarius females and even more self-critical than some of the other air signs. A healthy uh, Aquarius male is going to uh, know what they're interested in and they're gonna have to do something that's very aligned with what they're passionate about and what they're interested in. Like working a dead-end career is not something that's going to make an Aquarian male happy. That would completely undermine his sense of like masculinity, his sense of purpose. It's very important that an Aquarius is doing something that's aligned with um, not only their intellectual interests, but also their intellectual um, gifts, right? Because they're a highly, highly intellectually gifted sign for the most part. The biggest thing to keep in mind, Aquarius is ruled by Uranus. Uranus is associated with themes of upheaval and revolution and sudden change and rapid reversals and change of circumstances. It's that kind of like unpredictable lightning bolt um, tornado type energy. And so it's a real gift and it makes these individuals highly interesting. It allows them sometimes to completely break out of a rut when you think that they're gonna be in a rut forever. But that's also very unsettling. So if you're someone that has Uranus in your chart or you have Aquarius energy in your chart, it's gonna be a lot easier. And I think the relationship with an Aquarius male is gonna be a lot more compatible and comfortable with you. If not, there's no reason why you can't make it work, right? But you have to understand that if you're uncomfortable with Uranus energy, it's going to, to give you a lot of anxiety. Like you're gonna constantly be sort of in that anxious, kind of anxious state. People with very strong Aquarius or Uranus in their chart, and especially with the males, they have a tendency to make people around them more anxious than they otherwise are. So, I don't ever wanna put people in boxes or even when we think about relationship or attachment styles, these are always dynamic. They're never fixed in place, they can change. But typically people that are more of an anxious, anxious attachment style are probably not gonna do as well with an Aquarius male. It's just gonna be very hard for you to feel. It's gonna be hard for you to typically get the needs that you want met and it's gonna typically hard for you to get the things you need from the Aquarius male in order to you know, help you make that leap from being more anxious to being more secure. What are the biggest takeaways, right? Be upfront and clear about what you want. Hold the Aquarius accountable for you know, what you've communicated. If you know, they've expressed either explicitly or through their actions that they can't really give you what you want, then don't waste your time, like you're gonna get hurt. Secondly, you have to be someone that's open 
and willing to experience change and rapid growth in a relationship. You have to be someone that's okay with someone that walks in one day is like, hey, I wanna like be polygamous or like I wanna date other people or like I wanna have an open relationship. That's not always the case or not every Aquarius male, but that is in the domain of Aquarius energy and Uranus. So if that's something that's interesting to you, that could be a good fit. If not, that could be terrifying. Lastly, like understand that they're very mentally driven and they tend to intellectualize their emotions instead of actually feeling them. This can sometimes create problems or it can create issues with intimacy because they're always thinking things to their mind and they're thinking about things rationally. And sometimes being vulnerable requires expressing and laying bare emotions that are at their core irrational and illogical, you know? Maybe you're someone that's okay or you can tolerate that or you think you can kind of balance out the Aquarius person, but um, if that's something that you think might be an issue for you, then, you know, tread carefully. Once an Aquarius is committed in a relationship and it's a relationship where both people feel that they're getting what they want out of it, like the contract of the relationship is a good one and people are sticking to it, Aquarius males are very loyal and they're very uh, reliable, right? It's a fixed sign. People with fixed signs tend to have more of those characteristics. But if you're in a relationship with an Aquarius male and it's really not the right fit and you're really forcing it and you're trying to be someone that you're not in order to make it work, that's where you're really gonna kind of see and maybe you might worry about that upheaval, that rapid change, your honest energy coming into play to, to mix things up. But ultimately, if that change happens, it's probably for the good. So um, don't be afraid, but hopefully with some of these things, you're armed with a little bit more understanding about some of the dynamics you might experience in dating an Aquarius male.